Wow, it looks like Ross has so many cars going on that's uh, ready to be worked on. Lots of muscle cars here. A few more cars over on that side, let's take a look. Well, what do we have here? Interesting. Not really sure what this is at this point. When we get around here, we'll definitely ask uh, Ross what's going on here. So, looking pretty funky car. It's a little wet today because it's uh, that's rained and so, wow, that is definitely a unique car. Not really sure what it is, but definitely we'll find out here shortly. Time to get this thing serviced, possibly. Just like the motor that we have at home. Mine is about to be uh, serviced as well. It's not as bad as this one here. As you can see, it gets dark. We got a very nice G-Wagon here. It's one of Ross's uh, fleet here, I think. I've seen this car a couple times. I've even seen it at the um, uh, Tuner Bash at one time. So today we got a special video for you. We are at Lifkin's brand new facility here, the new HQ for Ross. Ross kindly invited me to actually check this unit out. Um, practically they have a full showroom with all the cars that he owns basically. And he has tons of collections, especially the Fast and Furious collection. So anyways guys, if you haven't seen so, Ross has supplied me with my lift at home. And that uh, if you guys haven't seen those videos yet, please check them out. And uh, anyways, guys, we will be interviewing uh, with Ross and see how this business got started with him. And that uh, I hope you guys enjoy in the process. So anyways, stay tuned. Okay, Ross. Thanks, man, for having me here again, as usual. Of course, man. First question of uh, our interview here. I would like to know how the business started, basically how it gets started. For sure. But basically, about, about 18 years ago, um, I've always been a car guy, so I had lots of cars. A buddy of mine ordered a lift from the states he got it up here and honestly he was just he paid a ton of money for it and it wasn't a very good lift or whatever and uh so i basically just started kind of searching out my own guys to do what i wanted i made my own changes to the lift and the the first shipment coming in was actually just for me and friends and then their friends started calling me and then their friends started calling me and then it turned into an actual job so i've been here for 18 years doing it now so awesome you know, now we're the lifting yeah so ross Fast and Furious. So what is this all about? It's uh, what influenced you to kind of get into this Fast and Furious things? Honestly, man, we all sort of grew up with Fast and Furious. Right? <laughs> so it's yeah. kind of what brought the car culture back to what it is nowadays. And it kind of, when I was a kid, I was like, I was always into cars or whatever, right? But there's like, when I was a kid, like the car culture kind of died off a bit and it wasn't as popular. And then Fast and Furious came out and it kind of just reignited everything, right? So. For me, it's just like, you know, I still remember that first night going to that first movie, pulling out of the parking lot after, sideways, you know, it was, it was, it was freaking awesome. But it's, uh, so because of that, I just, I, I love the movies. I love, the first four movies are awesome. After that, they're a little bit whatever, but the first four movies are the best. And it's, uh, so yeah, I just really just, you know, bring back memories, I guess, right? So Exactly. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Totally right. Exactly. Yeah. Growing up, that's yeah. basically right. what, we, what we saw. You know, right. First, first and second and third, right? Yeah. It's an awesome movie. No, for totally sure. right. Totally. Well, yeah, here you go. Uh, probably a tough question for you here because I know you have other goodies at home. Yeah. Um, if you can have one out of all this fleet. One car. Which one would you choose? Out of the Fast and Furious cars or you, out of the album? Well, I guess it'd be, well, first of all, we'll do the Fast and Furious one. Yeah. And then maybe right. the rest Fast of the Fast and thing. Furious probably. Uh, I really like the great GTR. Like I really like that car. So probably good choice. I think, right? so, it's just so iconic, and it's so much fun to drive. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. so Ross, any of this? Are they any any of them for sale, or what's what's the, the deal? Fast and Furious cars? No, I think for right now I'm I'm holding on to them. I kind of when I think when I do sell them, I kind of want to sell them all at once. Um, just because I, I wouldn't want to piece it out and just start having a part collection or sort of thing, right? So it's, it's super cool. You can walk in here and see, you know, most of the cars or whatever. So for now, keeping these. My muscle cars, I got lots of those. They're always sort of sale in and out sort of thing, right? But it's, uh, yeah. In terms of the muscle cars, I know they're kind of hidden at this point yeah. here. Ross, are you going to show me so the back? I, I, <laughs> My plan is when this place gets sort of unpacked and looks a little better, we're going to open up the back end as well. 
hoping to do a bit of a car museum is what the book plan is, right? Sweet. So that's, that's sort of the idea. We'll have a Fast and Furious area, a muscle car area. I got some imports or some uh, exotic stuff or whatever. So that, that's sort of the plan. So yeah, so that'll come later. Awesome. Looking forward to see the back, man, for We're sure. happy to show you, man. Ross, future plans. Uh, not that you're giving away any secrets here, but yeah. what's the future plans here? For the cars or for lifting or? For the business, possibly the business in the cars? Stuff. We're expanding into the States, which is pretty exciting. So like right now we're, we have, uh, we sell to Australia, we sell to Europe, I've got lifts kind of all over the world. We sell to the States right now, but I really wanted to start opening stores down there. Like it's a, it's a huge market. Really excited about it. I'm excited about the US car guys because they're awesome too. So that's sort of the plans for, for this year. In collection wise, car wise? Just keep buying shit, man. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> try, not to, try not to sell stuff, just keep buying. I really wish I had all the space myself, yeah, Ross, because right? I would love to buy more cars for sure. So if you can go back and advise the young version of you, what would you, and this would apply to a lot of the young car guys out there at this point. So, I mean, there's lots of advice I'd give myself because, you know, it's like I was a kid and screwed up lots of it, right? But, uh, even just holding on to the car, as a car thing, holding on to the cars that I had. I, I sold so many badass cars that were, that were worth a ton of money now. And if I held on to those, they would have been like retirement money, some of that stuff, right? So um, if you can, hold on to your cars. If you can't, there's always a better car coming along. So, you know, it is what it is. But if you can hold on to your stuff, hold on to your stuff. Because at the end of the day, when you want to sell stuff or retire or do whatever you want to do, the more stuff you have to to sell and take it easy you can it's better for you as a car guy how important is camaraderie with you in terms of it's huge man like we, we do our, our weekly show right and it's and honestly like we're pretty much everybody comes to our shows totally cool guys right and it's like and just being able to connect with the with the community that way is it, it's awesome i love having everybody here from the the guys with five thousand dollar cars, the guys with two million dollar Ford GTs, like they just and we have such a huge selection of guys, and everybody's super cool, and it's just like there's a there's just a bridge, like a cars the bridge, and just everybody can hang out and, and be chill with each other, right? So it's it, it's really important to me. That's very awesome. Yeah, you know, it's really nice to have that camaraderie and set aside the differences in no, that. Totally is, right? yeah. You know, yeah. except that we kind of builds out there because really, you know. Ultimately, we gotta enjoy every car we can we can enjoy, right? Like basically, the only prerequisite for my show is you love your car, and that's if you love your car, then you're a car guy, and you're more than welcome, right? So it's it's like, you know, so some of the cars that show up, like some guys are like, oh, well, you let him in, but that kid loves the car, and he's put whatever work he's put into it, and that's all all that really matters, really. On point, on point. Well, Ross, I thank you so much for you know letting me in today. Um, you know, the Venus birthday today, by the way. Yes, I know man. that. I got to get out of here, bro, because I'm going to be in shit. <laughs> what are you doing with me, buddy? <laughs> I got to get home, man. I got to get home. So what's the plan tonight? Uh, just dinner, movie, that sort of thing, right? So hang out with the family. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Family first, that's exactly. for sure. Thank you again for having me here, man. You're awesome. Welcome, I, appreciate I appreciate it. it. Thanks for coming. Uh, such an amazing place here, guys. As you can see, quite of, uh, it's basically a museum now. It kind of is, <laughs> man. That's, that was, yeah, that's the idea. That's awesome. As you guys can see here, it's an amazing facility that Ross have. Uh, we're going to do a bit of a quick tour here and uh, ask Ross some questions here as we go along. And maybe he could tell us everything that he has here in the Fast and the Furious stuff. So, Ross, yeah, walk me through, man, if you can. Pretty much Suki's S2, Johnny Trans. Those are basically identical cars. And in, in the actual, in the movies, Johnny Trans' car was actually Suki's. They just read it. The car. Oh, I see. I don't know if a lot of guys know that, but basically identical cars of course you got the the famous monica monica <laughs> rules integra and then we got one of the few of these ever made so this is uh obviously twinkies Hulkmobile. twinkies that thing's pretty awesome and yeah you know it's probably the funniest of all the cars whatever it gets yeah attention I mean, it's slow, it drives terrible but it's just cool as hell special tokyo drift it's right. one of my favorite it's yeah right. for sure <laughs> obviously brian's eclipse Nice. And that's super cool. And that's actually the Need for Speed car. So is Need that for, the original one? That's the original one from Need for Speed 3D image of that car uh -huh. for the video game. So, so oh, nice. Yeah, really so cool. how did you get a hold of this thing? So this guy was going up in uh, Montreal, Dom Dom. He's the one who made it. And Need for Speed, the, the uh, guys contacted him and they did all the 3D imaging. Nice. So that's actually the car that was for the... That is sweet. That's a pretty sweet, man. That's cool. 
And you got your, is this the, this is the uh, RX-7? RX-7, yeah. yeah. So we actually just finished this one. So Sweet. We built this one. It's, uh, this one's about 500 horse. All real veil side everything. Uh, I'm waiting for my veil side wheels to come in. There's a gentleman that sells uh, Fast and Furious type reproduction stuff. Yeah. And he's got a set of wheels for me coming. So. so I don't know if you saw the video I did, Ross, on uh, the uh, Driven. Oh yeah, okay. I, yeah. I had this oh, on. Did you have this yeah, on? Yeah, I, I did, did see yeah. that. That's right. Yeah. Check it out yeah. if you get the chance. That's awesome. So, no, oh, that's awesome. So I, one of my favorite guys, that's for sure. Super cool car. It's a villain car, but it a, is, yeah, yeah, it's, it's sure. nice anyways, right? No, it's sick. This, uh, this is a Fast and Furious. This is one of my Mustangs. This is built by a company called American Built uh, Customs in the States. Bought a Barry Jackson. These guys are awesome built. Like, it's just a really freaking cool car. Nice. Shout out to them. And obviously we got the Sylvia S15. Tokyo Drift car is before it got smashed up. Oh yeah, exactly. And underneath we got uh, the RX-8 from Tokyo Drift. Okay. And who drove this one? That was Nila's car. Oh, Nila's. His girlfriend, yeah. Ah, nice. That's pretty cool, right? Amazing drive. That car that drives one of the best out of all these cars. It's an awesome car. It's the rotary one, right? It is, yeah. 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 I've actually never driven one until I drove that car and it just drives super nice. Sweet. Do you ever take any of these cars out? Oh yeah, I take mine, yeah. Yeah, well, we're gonna do lots of, releasing lots of videos here soon with lots of drive moves. Oh, drive. nice, nice. Yeah. Well, you gotta get me on in one of them. Oh, for sure, dude, <laughs> for sure. Obviously, Dom's RX-7, which is sick as hell, I love that car. Yeah, all-time favorite. Oh yeah, and Sean's uh, Evo 8. Yes. Super cool car. Too. Oh, so now is this? Uh, as one of Tokyo Drift. As well, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's kind of a little Tokyo Drift corner. So any of this original so movies? For, no, so I've got I've got the Chevelle, the movie car from the Chevelle from Fast Four. Okay. So they were the uh, seventy Chevelle, so we're restoring that one right now. I've got a couple of deals on two other ones I'm working on right now. I'm hoping to have them come in, and uh, and there's a few more I'm trying to get. So nice. We're nice. trying to build a collection. Over. That is awesome, man. Silver GTR from Too Fast. Obviously. Fast Four GTR, the blue one. R34. Blue ones from Fast Four, that's the one above. Gotcha. Oh, yep. And the yellow is the R33 from the original movie, that's Leon's car. Leon's, okay. Yeah. That is sweet. That's our new triple lift, by the way. Nice. That's like the best lift on the market, we're gonna the best price on it, too. Yeah, that would be perfect for a really high high ceiling garage there, yeah, for sure. Yeah, right? we'll lots, lots, lots of guys with like 15 foot ceilings, right? And you can get three cars, there, no problem. For sure. I only have an 11 uh, yeah, right. footer there, so I can only fit uh, two at least. So, and of course, you got too fast, too furious. We got uh, Tyrese's car and Brian's car. Nice. The Evo 7 and the Eclipse. And then we got, uh, we got about four more cars that aren't in here right now. So, we got the, we got the High Civic, uh, Brian's truck. We got uh, also the Chevelle. And I've got uh, Jesse's the BW. Yeah, that's so They'll be down here soon. Nice. Yeah. So, in terms of the new facility you have yeah. here, yeah. congratulations, Thank you, by man. the way. Thank you. That's awesome. I've seen your old one. We've done a, tons of videos yeah, there. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And so awesome to be in the new it HQ. It turned out pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah how, the, how did you manage to grab this baby? Yeah, I just honestly, is it, it was pure luck. Like it's been, a, the, the building was vacant for a bit. Yeah. And uh, when the old dealership moved down, and it was just, it was kind of off the market for a long time. And I just, I happened to contact somebody who knew somebody and it just all kind of fell into place. Yeah. Any future plans in this uh, whole? So yeah, I'm hoping to do a bunch of building on the other side of the lot there is the plan. Gotcha. Um, we'll see how that goes. We've got to make sure it's cool the city and whatever. And it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of the plan to make kind of, kind of a little car, car area here. Yes. There's actually a, a, a exotic dealership going in next door and okay. doing, they got some crazy plans for that place. So this whole corner, like this street is just me badass. Cause it's going to it be all muscle cars, imports and exotics. So it'll it's be our cool, man. car show hangout that's place. Right, you man. know, that's for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So it should be fun. Awesome. Well, again, guys, thank you so much for uh, your time. And hopefully you'll enjoy this video with, with Ross here with his brand new HQ. And uh, we're definitely going to do a lot more videos totally here. Yeah. And feel free to check the, uh, Ross's Lift King. Lift, King. Lift, yeah. Easy Lift King yeah. um, channel there. So. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you again for your, your time. And if you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so that way you can never miss any videos that I have going forward. So anyways, guys, stay tuned.